I am strong. I am determined. Confident. I am not just a pretty face. I am not afraid to push the envelope. I am an athlete. I am a cowgirl. An NFL cheerleader. Division one volleyball player. I'm a figure skating champion. I never miss my target. I can hang with the boys. I give 100%. I'm here to break the stereotypes. I am Miss Ohio USA. I am Miss Idaho USA. I'm Miss Texas USA. I'm Miss Colorado USA. Miss Nebraska USA. Miss Kentucky USA. Miss Louisiana USA. I am. I am. I am the next Miss USA. From all over the U.S., 51 of the most beautiful women in the nation have come to Baton Rouge, Louisiana. It's like a feeling when you're about to win the medal. When you work so hard that you knew you wouldn't settle. Hands are in the air. Hands are in the air. Something we got feeling happening. Got it mark you strong. Push and burning and it's grabbing me. Feeling in my bones. Oh, oh, something we got feeling happening. Their journey to the crown has led them here. The 2015 Miss USA pageant. In the heart of the bayou, we're live from Baton Rouge River Center in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. It's Miss USA 2015. Still remember the 4th of July 
Detroit, Michigan. Jessica Shy, 23, Prior Lake, Minnesota. Courtney Byrne, 23, Austin, Mississippi. Rebecca Dunn, 24, Columbia, Missouri. Tony Papager, 27, Great Falls, Montana. Welcome your host, Emmy winner Todd News, and from E-News Now, Alex 
Ladies and gentlemen, what a thrill it is to have you with us for what has become the most anticipated and what will be the most exciting night in recent pageant history. This is Miss USA 2015. Yes. Hey, how about a hand for our nothing but crown band right over there? Are they fantastic or what? And I got to tell you, you folks at home, on behalf of the thousands that are here tonight, there is no place we'd rather be than right here in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. What a crowd. Thank you for coming out tonight. This is an awesome yes. crowd. I just love the energy. And you have come on an amazing night. Well, you've just met 51 of the most stunning women in the USA who are vying for the crown. And, you know, speaking of competing for the crown, I'd like to start the show tonight by taking a little look back at some footage of my uh -oh. lovely co-host here in action. Watch and this. Miss Wisconsin, USA 2009 is Alexandra Worley. Oh my gosh, that was such a life-changing moment, and I think it's so important for all of you to keep in mind, we have 51 winners already, because seriously, just winning your state pageant is huge. It is true. Very true. We're lucky folks to be here tonight, but you know, you're not the only one oh, on really? this stage tonight that has a little bit of pageant history. I happen to know my way around a parade of ladies in sashes, too. Watch this. Lovely posed by Panama. Come on, here comes Bahamas, Yugoslavia. There they are. 2001. I haven't aged a bit. It's fantastic. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Holy cow. Yeah, is that my that younger gray brother? Where did come from? Yeah. What? Uh, uh, you during rehearsals. It was not, no. Giving I away my love. secrets. Now, tonight, you folks at home have a very special job because you have a hand in determining who takes the crown. A little bit later on in the show, we'll give you the chance to vote online to keep one of our top 15 in the competition. Now, the way you do that is by going to MissUSA.com slash play once the voting is open. And if you'd like, you can go there now to play along with all sorts of fun trivia we have for you. Right now, we want to head backstage to a woman who will be giving us the inside scoop all night long from Reels Channel's OK TV, Julie Alexandria. Thanks so much, Alex and Todd. The contestants arrived in Baton Rouge on July 1st for a full schedule of events. And I've spent the last few days getting to know them. And over the next three hours, you guys will get to know them as well. And just for you at home, I'll be sharing some inside info from my scouting report as the women compete. Now, not only are they stunning, of course they're stunning, they're brilliant, hardworking career women and very fierce competitors. Now, each and every one of them is a deserving contender for the crown. Todd? All right. Thank you very much, Julie. Now, we'll meet our judges and we'll reveal our top 15 when we come back. This is Miss USA 2015. It's live and it's only on Reels.
welcome back to the Miss USA pageant, y'all. Miss USA pageant ever. That's right. In addition to online voting, you can download the Miss USA 720 app available for iOS and Android. So check this out. You can control your view of the action from our exclusive cameras for a very unique experience. Tell you what, it's going to put you right in the middle of all the excitement, and there is a mm -hmm. lot of excitement tonight. The anticipation is building as these 51 women want to know which of them will be moving on to the next round. The chance to become the new Miss USA represents a lifelong dream. To make it here, they've competed in countless pageants on the local and state level. That is true. They've overcome the odds, and in some cases, they've turned their lives around. The winner tonight. Are you guys center stage? And the winner is... Miss South Carolina USA is... Why soon? I am such a rush right now. I don't even know what to do. It feels unreal. It's just the feeling of this crowd. Physically and mentally training for pageantry, the stress level is very high. Success isn't overnight. You're not going to attain the goals you want overnight. You have to prepare yourself, not only physically, but mentally as well. I love my brother. He's my best friend. My family is the best family in the world. They have been the most supportive. Well, my mom has really been my supporter in everything. She's just the only person I think I could have gotten through this with. And I'm so very proud of her. She's a good kid. Watching Caroline grow has been one of the greatest pleasures of, of my life. Being able to adopt Liz to be chosen as her parents is the greatest gift we've ever received. I've only had support from them, and I'm so lucky, I know that. My sister, she gives back more than anyone I've ever met. I didn't have the funds to afford the gown or the swimsuit, so I started a GoFundMe page. I borrowed some of these dress, and I ended up winning that very first pageant. I am where I am now because of the support of my community. So much pressure. So many people watching, such an intense buildup. But as soon as that red light comes on, it's go time. Even if you don't win, there's always something you can gain. I think that all the contestants here are already winners because they have accomplished so much. But now I'm really excited to see who's going to be crowned in this USA. All right, there you go. That's what it takes to reach this magic night. And to be in charge of the magic, some of it anyway, we've got a panel of powerful women who know exactly what it takes to win. Tonight's judges are all past title holders. So cool. And first up, an accomplished television personality and recovery advocate. She's Miss USA 2006, Tara Connor. Next host to national spokeswoman for teen issues, Miss Teen USA 2011, Danielle Doty. Up next, the first Arab American Miss USA and semi-finalist on the Dancing with the Stars Lebanese version, Miss USA 2010, Rima Faki. Our next judge is the first woman from Angola to win the Miss Universe crown. She's Miss Universe 2011, Leila Lopez Yumanyara. Now, co-founder of the Meriwether Foundation, which works to improve health, education, and nutrition in Southern Africa, Miss USA 2012, Nana Meriwether. Let's welcome television host and the only native Hawaiian to be named both Miss USA and Miss Universe, Brooke Lee. Next, international TV personality, motivational speaker, and philanthropist, Miss Universe 1992, Michelle McLean Bailey. Now, acclaimed television sports reporter and host, Miss USA 1999, Kimberly Pressler. 
And finally, star of the Tyler Perry sitcom, for better or worse, Miss USA 2008, Crystal Stewart. A tremendous responsibility tonight, and so will you. Julie is backstage with the details. So the judges' first order of business will be to narrow the top 15 down to just 10 finalists. And then later on, you'll be able to vote for one of the 15 who is not chosen by the judges and keep her in the competition. So we're going to tell you guys when voting opens in just a little bit. And later, our top five will be answering a question you posted on Facebook. Todd? All right. Thank you very much, Julie. Now, prior to our show, a preliminary competition was held, during which a separate panel of esteemed judges viewed all 15 one of these incredible women. I'm going to do a show. I'm about to rock it. This week, our contestants took the stage for the first time to compete in swimsuits as their friends and families turned out for support. Then it was time for the evening gown competition. With grace and confidence, each of them made walking across the stage in their high heels look effortless. I have that determination because of my mother, and I think that's my best quality. Next, the women would face the panel for in-depth one-on-one interviews. So this is the true test of their personality and intellect. The preliminary judges, along with members of the Miss Universe organization, determined which women would survive tonight's first cut. I'm ready. I'm getting nervous. I can't believe it's finally here. All right, that's what happened during this week, and now we've got some results. We will be revealing the preliminary judges' top 15 in groups. Since we want you and tonight's judges to get the most of this first impression, each woman will tell us in her own words what makes her unique. So now we'll begin in random order. The first spot in the top 15 is for... Texas! Hi, I'm Eliana Guerra. I'm 22 years old, and I'm Miss Texas USA. I've danced everything from ballet, tap, jazz, flamenco, salsa, tango. I started dancing when I was two years old. I went to the Nutcracker and I said, Mommy, that's what I want to do. This is my mom. She and I love cooking and love baking. She loves to make rose infused. That's why we have roses on the <laughs> It's a really good time for me and her to bond when we're in the kitchen. Miss Texas USA. And joining her is... Maryland! My name is Mom AJ. I'm 23 years old, and I'm Miss Maryland USA 2015. I started modeling at the age of six. I love the way that you contour your body and make faces, different expressions, just to invoke some type of emotion from the person who is viewing it. My father was a, a big part of me realizing what I want to do and what I want to give back to the world, and that is just to serve. As a pageant girl now, I started a program called the No Excuses Youth Empowerment Program, where I was going around to high schools, talking to girls about actively pursuing their dreams and not letting their circumstances be an excuse not to pursue their goals. Miss Maryland, USA! The next place in the top 15 belongs to... Arizona! Hi, I'm Maureen Montang, Miss Arizona USA 2015. I come from a mixed family. My father is French and my mother is Filipino. And I'm so glad that I have that different cultural background. 
I love cooking with my mom. Um, Filipino food is always so good. You know, we get that adobo, that lechon, that great Filipino food. I love the ukulele because you have four fingers and there are four strings. Much easier than the guitar. And it's also, it's a really sweet instrument. I think it's just, it's a pick-me-up. Whether you bring it out while you're camping or at a party, it just, it really lightens the mood. Miss Arizona, USA. We've got some good news for... Michigan! That is our 6.4 liter Hemi V8 engine with 475 horsepower and 485 pounds per foot of torque. I am Miss Michigan, USA, Rashante Wazinian. I travel the country as a narrator for the auto show. Sometimes people think that I don't know about the cars. I actually know a lot about cars. We're very educated in the vehicles. I usually know more than they even know how to ask. <laughs> My dad has a degree in automotive engineering, and I always grew up going to the auto show. So it means so much that I can actually work in that field now. My mom left me and my father when I was three. It really bonded my dad and I together, and he raised me as a single father. And it was obviously very hard growing up without a mother. But no matter what happens in your life, who leaves, anything like that, I, you have to believe in yourself and be confident in who you are. Miss Michigan, USA! There are 47 women left, but only 11 places remain. And this one is for... Virginia! I'm Laura Palea, I'm 25 years old, and I am Miss Virginia, USA. In Lexington here, we have tons of places to hike. We're in the Shenandoah Valley. We're right here in the Blue Ridge Mountains, so there are beautiful vistas everywhere you go. It doesn't matter where. It's just really nice. <laughs> well, I just graduated from Washington and Lee Law School a few weeks ago. And being Miss Virginia USA at the same time, being a full-time third-year law student was tough. But whether you have the mindset of a defense attorney or prosecution, as long as due process is followed through and justice is served, that's what makes me want to be an attorney. Miss Virginia USA! Five women have taken a step toward the crown. We're one-third of the way there. The next woman moving forward is... Rhode Island! My name is Ania Garcia, and I'm Miss Rhode Island, USA. I'm adopted by my grandmother because my mother was raped when she was 13 years old. A child can't take care of another child, so that's how my grandmother adopted me, right from birth. When I was 13, we started having economic problems. My grandmother lost her job. We couldn't afford the rent. And one day the sheriff came and he took out all of our things. And we found ourselves literally on the street. I didn't tell anyone at school that we were homeless and that we were living in my grandmother's car, sleeping in the Walmart Plaza. I'm all about being positive and having hope, and that's the only way that we got out of the situation that we were in. My grandmother has had a huge impact in my life. She's my role model. She's my best friend. If it wasn't for her, I wouldn't be where I am today. We're still struggling a lot. And I'm here because I'm here to represent all of those women who are living in cars or on the street. And, and you can be beautiful no matter what you're wearing or how you look. It's how you feel inside. Miss 
Miss Rhode Island, USA. Some amazing women. I hate to break the news to all of you, but that's it for the first group in our top 15. We have nine places left. Six incredible women have taken the first big step toward that crown. Their next challenge just might be the most nerve-wracking yet, the swimsuit competition. That's coming up. We'll reveal the rest of the top 15 when we come back at you right here on Reels. Don't go anywhere. Welcome back to Miss USA 2015. We are live with a capital L in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Now let's recap where we are so far. Texas, Maryland, Arizona, Michigan, Virginia, and Rhode Island have all made it to the top 15. There are nine places left. So now in random order, let's find out the remaining women who will compete for the crown. We're holding this next place for... Kentucky! Hi, my name is Katie George. I'm 21 years old and I'm Miss Kentucky USA 2015. Straight up, two... I have been playing volleyball since I was 11 years old. I truly fell in love with the game, and so I started playing club volleyball year-round. And then I was lucky enough to go on to college and play for an athletic scholarship, which I'm truly grateful for. I've always
always grown up knowing that I wanted to be a sports broadcaster. I've been privileged enough to work for WLKY the past two years as an intern, and my first year was just learning so much about the broadcasting industry, editing, producing. And so volleyball, broadcasting, Miss Kentucky USA, you name it, I'm getting to do all these different things, which I absolutely love. Miss Kentucky USA. The next woman on our list is Hawaii. Aloha, my name is Emma Wo. I'm 25 and I'm Miss Hawaii USA 2015. I love to call Hawaii the endless summer because our weather is good all year round. I've been a model since I was 15, um, modeling in the Hawaii scene and then also in Tokyo as well. I think now is my time to shine and I just need to use all the skills that I've learned along the past 10 years and really show them what I have. Winning this USA would mean everything to me because it would be a chance to give back even further, not only to the Hawaii community, but to the entire nation. I'm training my mind like a politician, I'm training my body like a professional athlete, and I'm training my poise like I'm the Queen of England. Miss Hawaii USA! There are now 43 women standing, yet only seven places left in our top 15, and one of them belongs to... New York! I'm Tatiana Diaz, 22 years old. I'm Miss New York, USA, 2015. My grandma's from the Dominican Republic, and she has brought that food over here to America, and I love visiting her. I learned to cook Dominican food. I've, my favorite thing to cook is shrimp and rice and tostones, which is plantains, you know, the Dominican way. <laughs> Instead of doing two looks, we can do one look. Mm -hmm. What I love about working at People in Espanol Magazine is that I get to mix my love of writing with my culture. I go into the office every day and I'm practicing my Spanish and I'm speaking to people in America who have the Latin roots behind them just like me. It's been really fun to be able to mix both my love for my culture and also my love for writing and beauty. Miss New York, USA! Take a step forward. Illinois! I'm Renee Renecki, Miss Illinois USA, and welcome to Chicago! I love Illinois because Chicago just has so much going on, so much good food, restaurants, and you can always just be outside and walking around. My little brother being autistic has definitely taught me a lot of lessons and patience definitely had to be one of them. He also taught me how to truly love someone unconditionally, how to never judge anyone. Because of him, I honestly couldn't see myself being who I am today without him. USA! Only five to go, and now we want to bring down... Nevada! Hi, my name is Brittany McGowan, and I'm Miss Nevada USA. My love of filmmaking started in high school. I took a film class, and I always film everything. The family joke is Brittany always has her camera. My World, My Way is a program that I created. My World, My Way. I like to call it a movement because it really is about inspiring kids to take pride in choosing who they want to be. I have an opportunity to share their stories. 
and have their voices be heard. Because even the kids who you would think have a life that seems privileged, or they're all going through something, and when they feel comfortable enough to share, it all flows out. It's really empowered a lot of kids, and I'm really proud of it. Miss Nevada, USA. The exciting night just got even better for... Oklahoma! Hi, I'm Olivia Jordan. I'm 26 years old, and I'm Miss Oklahoma USA 2015. I've been modeling for over a decade now. And I was able to do shoots for cowboy boots and cowboy hats and western apparel. Modeling is an amazing job. It's honestly, it's so fun and fantastic, but it's also a lot of hard work. I think that it's an amazing career that I'm so grateful to be part of. Over the past four years since I've been acting and modeling full time, um, I put so much energy into that, that sometimes I've sort of let the family stuff fall to, to be a second priority. We lost my grandmother last year to cancer. That all shifted. Family is the most important thing. Without them, I wouldn't be where I am today, and um, I'm so grateful for the team that I have that we all love each other and that we all support each other and that we're there for each other no matter what. Miss Oklahoma, USA. There are now only three places left and we'll be giving one of them to... Delaware! I'm 21 years old and I'm Miss Delaware USA. I always say when I speak about my pageantry and how I afford it to do everything that it truly does take a village because everyone got behind me. I didn't have the funds to afford the gown or the swimsuit and so I started a GoFundMe page and people really supported me. They got behind me 100% and I am where I am now because of the support of my community. In 2014, I actually started my own nonprofit called Girls to Girls. It's for ages 8 to 15, and I really focus on education, life goals, and this is something that's very important to me. Miss Delaware, USA. Just two places to go. Let's not keep you waiting any longer. Louisiana! Candice Panay, I'm 26 years old, and I'm your Miss Louisiana, USA. And when people hear my story, they don't necessarily see me on the outside and think that I could ever be a victim of dating abuse or domestic violence. But I was, and it just shows you that it can happen to anybody. Domestic violence is something that's clearly evident in our society. We don't talk about it enough. That's why I'm proud to be the state ambassador for the Louisiana Coalition Against Domestic Violence because I believe that violence is a learned behavior and if it can be learned, it can be unlearned. I'm a huge animal lover. My dogs are the love of my life. I treat them like they are humans. I have two Dobermans and a Chihuahua. The Dobermans weigh just a little under what I weigh, and of course my Chihuahua may be small, but she has a really big personality. Miss Louisiana, USA! Only one place left. Which of these amazing women will take the final spot in the top 15? We can now reveal that that woman is Alabama! Hi, my name is 
Madison Guthrie, and I'm Miss Alabama USA 2015. One of my favorite things about Alabama is how beautiful the scenery is. Red Mountain Park has wonderful zip lining and rock climbing. There's a lot of fun activities there you can do with your family and friends. I love to go fishing. It's kind of my escape from everything. A cause that is really near and dear to my heart is suicide prevention. It's something that family and friends very close to me have dealt with. Very tragic, and I want to bring awareness to that as Miss Alabama USA and just help talk to people and let them know that there is a better way. Miss Alabama USA. And congratulations to all of the women in our top 15. All right, ladies, please head backstage to Julie. All right, there we are, one step closer to the crown. This is so exciting. I don't even know how the judges made this hard, hard decision. Ladies, come on back. Here they come. You're going to see them running through here. I'm basically in the middle of a stampede zone, but that's all right. Hey, come on over, Miss Texas, USA, Maryland. Hey, high five. Arizona, yes, Maryland. Okay, so guys, I have a question for you. Do you get to breathe a sigh of relief now that you know that that's over, or is this when you really hone in? You know what? I'm just really, really excited and really blessed to be here in the top 15. So I'm just kind of taking it all in right now. Awesome. Now, how are your feet? Because I know you guys are rocking this in some pretty intense heels. They are hurting. They are. I'm not going to lie. But we have to get on that stage and rock it. We soak our feet after this in some Epsom salt, I think, though. So. Oh, I think Epsom salts are definitely in order. I want to know, Arizona, what is the toughest part of competing in this competition? I think the toughest part is... You know, getting the confidence to get on that stage and rock it. I mean, this is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity, but we're here to do it. We're ready to rock. Awesome. Okay, I'm going to let you guys go. I won't keep you any longer. They are headed into swimsuits, and guess what? I am not jealous of them one bit. I'll be telling you a little bit more about our top 15 so you can hear just how amazing these women truly are. Todd and Alex, back to you. 15 women have crossed the first hurdle, and the swimsuit competition is coming up. And next, Miss USA 2014, Mia Sanchez returns to the very stage where her dream came true one year ago. Miss USA 2015 is coming back live right here on Reels.
Accommodations for Miss USA contestants were provided by the La Verge Casino and Hotel. I feel right at home. I wish we had an extra week to be here. All my hard work is paying off, and I feel so extremely blessed. USA 2015. Now, folks, Alex and I have absolutely loved every moment here in the Bayou State. What a great time to be here in Louisiana, especially Baton Rouge. We've loved it. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, the people are amazing. Yep. Love them. We have to give a shout out right now to a bunch of Miss Teen USA contestants that are sitting right here. They turned out tonight to support the women that they consider their pageant sisters. Love seeing them here. And our Miss USA contestants are so driven that they wanted to take full advantage of the summertime sports the city has to offer. This week, the competition extended far past the runway. Oh, the city of Baton Rouge is home to more than 180 parks. With so much to choose from, the contestants were ready to get their game on. Whether it was skiing, biking, or climbing, the competition was fierce. The scary part is coming back now. I cannot get my hair wet, so I'm definitely not going to fall. The ropes course is just like the runway. Balance and poise are key. For inspiration, the contestants toured the factory of Marucci Sports, the leader in baseball bats for the big leagues. We're at Far Park. We're about to ride some horses, which I'm so, so excited about. Boating and skiing at Bennett's Lake was a huge splash. And the girls tested their muscles in kayak races. And after a heated competition, there was only one way to cool down. There you go. And that's a preview of the swimsuit competition. You're welcome. And I'm grateful that is coming up. <laughs> a little over one year ago, the dream of a lifetime was granted to Nevada's Mia Sanchez when she was named Miss USA 2014. Yes, and we're about to find out how that moment changed your life forever. But first, here is how she got ready for this big night. Perfect look, you need to start with perfect skin. Tonight, I'm using products from Image Skincare. Eyes are a gateway to the soul, and these colors really make my eyes stand out. For the ultimate glam look, I am putting my hair up in a messy bun style. It's worth the work. And then there's shoes. I'm going to rock the stage in a pair of one of these from Chinese Laundry. Finally, a dress. Nothing is as glamorous as a dress from Cherry Hill. That's it, simply perfect. Ladies and gentlemen, would you please join us in welcoming the reigning Miss USA 2014, Mia Sanchez. Oh, you look gorgeous. I love this color on you. Thank you. Yellow is the color of joy, right? Yes. We're feeling joyful. <laughs> now, Mia, I know it's been an incredible year. You were telling us how much you've enjoyed it, how you'll never forget it. But if you had to pinpoint one highlight 
what would that be? Oh my goodness, so many amazing moments. I have loved working with Best Buddies and Project Sunshine, some of my favorite charities. I have been able to travel to Prague to see where the crowns are being made. So many wonderful memories. My number one favorite memory would definitely be Miss Universe. I loved making friends from all over the world, meeting all the beauties from all over the world, and I also got first runner-up. There you go. That is so amazing. <laughs> Represented our country so great. All right, so what's next for you? I feel like I'm the type of person that has so many things going on at one time. I'm getting married, so I'm really excited about that. And I'm also going into the entertainment industry, so moving to L.A., hoping to get into the entertainment industry and see where everything goes from there. So we'll be seeing a lot more of her. <laughs> yes, gotcha. absolutely. Thank you, Nia. Now, later on tonight, all eyes will be on this lovely young lady as she crowns Miss USA 2015. Right now, Julie is backstage with some very special guests. Thanks, Alex. Well, we've got a true American success story for you right here, one that happened to begin in Louisiana. I'm here with music mogul and star of the upcoming Reels Channel series, Master P's Family Empire, Master P and his lovely daughter, actress and singer, Symphonique. So welcome, guys. Thanks for being here. Welcome, welcome. Thank you. So, Master P, tell us, what is the show going to be about? Well, the show is about me and my family doing business. Uh, we come from nothing. We changed our lives. And it's about us, me being a father to my kids. Very cool. We look forward to it. And Symphonique, you look absolutely lovely tonight. You look like you could be competing up there on stage for the crown. You think you could hang with these girls? You are way too kind. I mean, if they have a singing competition, I might have to get up there. I mean, I don't know if I can resist. Or if they want a record deal, you know, we're here. So. Really? What would you sing right now if I made you? Can you sing something for us right now? Oh, my gosh. Right on the spot. I really feel like I'm in the competition. Okay. Um. And I am telling you. That's, that's wow. All right. Well, if that's what we're going to see on the show, I think this is going to be pretty awesome. Thank you so much for being here and supporting the contestants. We look forward to your show premiering on November 28th on Reels. Very excited. Todd, what's up? Thank you, Julie. Now, I saw Master P give that proud daddy grin on that. I loved it. All right. Brooke, question for you as we're down here with our judges now. Tell us about that night. And we were just speaking with Nia, the yes. night where you had to turn your crown over. What is that like? It's very emotional. You've grown for a whole year. I gave my title with Hawaii, so that curb wasn't very far to get kicked to. <laughs> but it was a lot of fun. The whole world had hosted me for a year, so it was great to have all of those beautiful women in my hometown and to say thank you for a year of wonderful memories. Well, it's great to have you here tonight. Alex? And Kimberly, you made a wonderful Miss USA. What does being Miss USA mean to you? Gosh, I would have to say that being Miss USA means that you are now part of an American legacy of strong women who embody what the modern-day woman really is, someone who's intelligent and stylish and confident in herself and really is a role model for all races, all shapes, all sizes. So cool. Thank you so much. Yeah. Todd? All right. Love it. Thank you very much, judges. The destiny of our semifinalists is, of course, in your perfectly manicured hands over there. And just like the United States, the Miss USA competition is truly multicultural. Many of the contestants are first-generation Americans whose parents come from all around the world. My parents are from the Dominican Republic. They came here when they were teenagers. My mom is from France and my dad is from Mexico. I was born in Tirana, Albania and came to the United States when I was five years old. I'm biracial. My mother is Mexican-American and my dad is of German descent. Both my parents were born and raised in Italy, so I'm a first-generation Italian-American. The whole family immigrated here from Vietnam. My dad fought in the Vietnam War. Both my parents, they come from Poland. With their hard work, they really taught me that determination can get you anywhere. I come from a mixed Latino family. My mother was an immigrant from Nicaragua, and my dad is third generation Mexican. I am a first generation American, and my parents came from Poland in the 1980s from communism, so they really taught me how to be hardworking and work for what I want. When you meet all these girls, there's girls that are, want to be lawyers, there's girls that want to be doctors, and all of these girls want to do different things, but they're all in one place. A 
coming to America was going to be the best thing for our family, just because of freedom, democracy, human rights, and there's so many more opportunities here. And, you know, we did go through a lot of struggles and challenges. My parents both worked two jobs to really help get us where we need to be. The Hispanic culture is very warm, of course, especially in South Texas, so all of my family lives there, and everybody is extremely friendly. Everybody knows each other. Coming from a multicultural background, I would love to really promote positive race relations. I would love to let people know that we're accepting of all cultures, that it's okay to be different. You should embrace it. That is wonderful. That makes you beautiful. And you And welcome back to Miss USA 2015. We are live in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. And if it, yes, and if it wasn't steamy enough here in the bayou, we've got the competition that never fails to send the thermometer right into the red. 
it's time for swimsuits. Oh, yeah. And having competed as Miss Wisconsin USA, I can tell you that walking across that stage in a tiny swimsuit is terrifying and a little exhilarating, too, <laughs> not going to lie. Well, m these are some of the most daring suits I've ever seen by Sun Kitten Swimwear, our official swimwear provider, along with some sexy shoes by our official footwear provider, Chinese Laundry. And only you at home will be able to hear Julie's expert commentary throughout this round. So what do you say we go ahead and get started? Let's welcome back all of our contestants to the music of the Nothing But Crown Band featuring our buddy Travis Garland. Here we go. You bust out of prison, something's in the air, something's in the air. Like that feeling when you're just about to kill it. Take the last shot, so then you're gonna hit it. Something's in the air, something's in the air. Whoa. Something big, I feel it happen out of my control. Pushing, pulling, feeling, grabbing. Miss USA 2015 swimsuit competition with Texas. Miss Texas USA comes from a small Hispanic community where a lot of disadvantaged girls look up to her. So she likes being a role model and spreading hope. social justice after volunteering with humanitarian organizations in college. She intends to earn an international law degree and work on human rights policy for the United Nations. Arizona! Maureen has danced for the past 12 years and let me tell you, it certainly shows. She studied tap, ballet, jazz, and hip hop, and she even danced on Arizona State University's drill team. Michigan! Rashante attended college on an academic and athletic scholarship. After graduating with a degree in psychology, she decided to pursue her modeling and acting career. Virginia! Got a problem? Better call Laura. She taught constitutional law for a semester at a high school in Virginia. She believes students will profit for a lifetime from learning the system of rights and responsibilities under the Constitution. Going into junior year at Roger Williams University on a full tuition grant through the International Leadership Award. And she's also pursuing a double major in legal studies and philosophy. Kentucky! This volleyball star developed a blood clot in her lung at 17 and was told she would never play again. She persevered and went on to become Prep Volleyball's National Player of the Year in college. Hawaii! If you ever had trouble with your homework, this is the girl you need to call. At 16, Emma studied politics, philosophy, and economics at Oxford University in England. She went on to the Junior Olympics three times in high school, won a gold medal as a sophomore in high school as well.
a features editor for a college newspaper and plans to write a series of books for first-generation university students. She graduated with honors from Pace University with a Bachelor of Arts in Communication Studies. showed you earlier, Renee helped her parents out as a full-time caretaker for her artistic brother. These days, the charity closest to her heart is Autism Speaks. Nevada! As you saw earlier, Brittany is passionate about helping disadvantaged youth. She developed a mentoring project for kids called My World, My Way, which teaches them to create their own identity to gain control over their life. Oklahoma! Olivia earned a health science degree from Boston University. While in college, she worked as a group fitness instructor and personal trainer. This 5'11 beauty was a cheerleader in high school as well. Delaware! As we talked about earlier, Renee is clearly proud of the fact that she launched her first non-profit Girls to Girls, designed to encourage young ladies to take advantage of their education and make positive choices. Louisiana! As this hometown girl bravely mentioned, Candace is a former victim of abuse and is now on a mission to prevent it. As the state ambassador for the Louisiana Coalition Against Domestic Violence, she shares her story to educate others. U.S. Marine Corps Toys for Tots program, and she's helped to raise $10,000 for the cause in addition to collecting toys. This isn't her first time in Louisiana, though. She used to go spotlighting for alligators in the bayous as a kid. to save your favorite and vote her back into this competition. It's all live right here on Reels.
am the Majority Director of Operations for the Environment and Public Works Committee for the United States Senate. Well, I just graduated from Washington and Lee Law School a few weeks ago. Being a Louisiana lawyer is a lot different than anywhere else in the country. I recently interned for the House and Senate. I'm currently a law clerk at a civil litigation firm. I talk to clients, I talk to insurance companies, I call courts, and I also write my own documents. My favorite thing about politics is that it can always be changed. If you want to make a difference, it's definitely possible. Whether you have the mindset of a defense attorney or prosecution, all that matters is that due process is followed through and that justice is served. Well, behind me is the United States Capitol building, and it's where I go to work every day. And It's so humbling for me to work and be involved in pretty much the centerpiece of our democratic process. I want to make a difference, not only within my community, but around the world. Uh, as you can see, this year's contestants, they're all brilliant career women. Our 15 finalists have survived tonight's first challenge, the Daring Swimsuit Competition. And now let's find out which of them have survived the judges' first cut and are advancing toward the title and the crown. And keep your eyes on the five women who are not chosen. You'll get to save one of them with your votes at MissUSA.com slash play. Yeah, the judges' results have been tabulated. They have been confirmed by representatives of Ernst & Young. Ernst & Young is our official accounting firm, and we will reveal our top ten in random order. The first spot in the top ten belongs to Nevada. Next, the judges want to see... Hawaii! After getting her master's in marketing from NYU, Emma plans to start her own marketing firm specializing in fashion. There's a place next to her for... Rhode Island! She wishes to promote social justice for those who were wrongfully convicted. And joining her... Maryland! As we told you, Mame founded No Excuses, a program that teaches high school students to pursue their dreams. Four down. The number five spot belongs to Alabama. This girl knows how to take center stage. She once starred in a music video featuring Kid Rock and Hank Williams Jr. Halfway there, five to go as we invite Louisiana. The crowd goes wild for their hometown favorite. Candace is in her second year at Loyola New Orleans College of Law. Also still in tonight's competition. Michigan! Rashante would like to be a family and marriage therapist, as she's always the one her friends turn to for advice. Now there are only three places remaining. The judges have given this next one to... Oklahoma! She can handle just about anything. She's currently part of an all-girls improv troupe and would eventually like to play the lead in a sitcom. They have also reserved a spot for... Delaware! Renee recently launched her first company, a custom jewelry boutique called Intricate Designs. All proceeds from the business go to charity. There is one place left. That final place in the judges' top ten belongs to... Texas! Talk about...
Without leadership, this 22-year-old was her high school's class president. Congratulations to our top 10. All right, ladies, head on back to Julie. Well, they've passed their first big test of the night. Come on over, ladies. They just got doing what is pretty much, in my opinion, everyone's worst nightmare. Being on stage in front of thousands of people in a bathing suit. Come on over here, ladies. So I know you have worked so, so hard for these bodies. You look absolutely amazing. I want to know, though, what is that one indulgence that you guys just can't wait to eat when you're done with this whole process? In and out burger. 100%. Can't wait to go. <laughs> Chocolate chip cookie dough ice cream. You may or may not see me with a pint of Ben and Jerry's after. A pint kind of Ben? What flavor? Chocolate chip cookie dough, for sure. <laughs> okay, well, now I'm completely hungry. In and out Burger and Ben and Jerry sounds absolutely amazing. I want to know for you ladies, how tough is it? You come here, you're here for a while, you meet these amazing ladies, and then you have to compete against them. How difficult is it to compete against now your friends? It is difficult, and, and but it's fun, and we all respect each other and love each other, so we're, I think we're all happy for you. Absolutely. I think no matter what, we'll all be friends after this. We all exchange numbers, and we're all Facebook friends and everything, so I think it'll be all good. Okay, well, you all look amazing. Congratulations. All right, head on back out there to hair and makeup. I'll let them go. All right, they've got to change for evening gowns, something a little more. All right, once again, I'll be telling you at home more about them as they compete. Todd and Alex, back to you. All right, thank you very much. It's not over yet, not by a long shot, for these five remaining women. Arizona, Illinois, Kentucky, New York, and Virginia. It's now your chance to save one of them and send her into the next round. To vote, log on to MissUSA.com slash play. Each user gets 10 votes, all powered by iPowWow. And you can get the complete rules at MissUSA.com slash rules. Tell you what, we're going to open up the voting right now. You'll have the next 10 minutes to pick the woman that you want to save. You'll get to see how the voting is going right there on your screen. We'll return live from Baton Rouge with the evening gown competition. Miss USA 2015 will be back after this right here at Reels. Now go vote, everybody!
with a picturesque site you can only find in Louisiana, the nation's largest river swamp, the Atchafalaya Basin. Live from the bayou, it's the Miss USA pageant. Welcome back to Miss USA 2015. Arizona, Illinois, Kentucky, New York, and Virginia. Each of these five women is hoping that you at home will send her on to the next round. Now, the current results are right there on your screen, so you at home can see how they're doing. We're not showing the numbers to the five finalists or to our audience here at the Baton Rouge River Center. The percentages are changing with each and every vote powered by iPowwow, and there is still time to log on. Let us know which woman you want to save. All you have to do is go to MissUSA.com slash play to keep your favorite in this competition. Each user gets 10 votes, 10 and our contestants want you to use up each and every one of them. You know, this is so exciting. They did not have this when I was competing. That would have really came in handy, you know. <laughs> I know that these women have to appreciate the opportunity to get a second chance with your help, so vote. I'm sure, and I bet their friends and family watching us on Reels and online all over the world are probably thankful for this twist, too. Well, thank yeah. you so much, ladies. Please head backstage to change for the evening gown composition. All right. And while the ladies head backstage, let's head right over to our judges here. Get to know them a little bit while we have a moment. Michelle, let's start with you. Can you tell us what goes in to sending one of these lovely ladies on to the next round? Can't be easy. Well, I think I would have to say it is really defined by being able to deal with pressure. And certainly all these women are very accomplished. They've dealt with pressure to get to this level of the competition. But that woman who wins tonight is going to be able to have to deal with pressure at a much higher level. And not only to deal with it, but to thrive under it and really succeed. Right. That's what I'm looking for tonight. Use it as a tool, sure. Absolutely. And Nana, what are the qualities that make a great Miss USA? Well, I think, of course, there's the beauty factor, but she's got to have a great sense of awareness. That's awareness of the past. I'm so honored to be here with women I studied while I was competing for the title. She's got to have an awareness of the present. She's got to know current events and make an opinion about what's around her. And she's got to have a sense of the future because you got to give this title up one day and you got to respect the legacy. So it's the total package. Right. That's awesome. Thank now, Crystal, you. Crystal, the question I love asking, because each answer is different, each one is unique, how does winning the crown change your life? Oh, wow. Well, for me, um, it empowered me, it amplified my voice, and it gave me so many opportunities, like my acting career, and I'm just excited that um, we are taking part in giving one special lady the opportunity of a lifetime. All right. Well, thank you, judges, all of you, for being here. We'll let you get settled in. <laughs> the next round is going to be something. This is where the ladies will be showing off their evening gowns. Right now, Julie is with another woman who has won the crown, Miss USA 2013, Erin Brady. Thanks, Todd. A gorgeous woman, by the way. So, Erin, I remember interviewing you on OKTV OK just about a week or so into your reign as Miss USA 2013. Fast forward, here you are, Miss USA 2015. What's it like being here? watching this pageant from this vantage point, being in the audience. I think it's really exciting to just be here and relaxed and then being able to cheer all the girls on, and especially given the chaos of the past two weeks, being able to be here and just kind of cheer them and root them on, it's really exciting. Absolutely. And what's next for you? We actually just came back from California shooting a show that will be out in August about becoming an entrepreneur. So we're starting our own businesses, and we're moving out to California at the beginning of September. Very cool. Congratulations. Now, while my mic is live and the girls can hear you backstage, so do you have any words of advice for them? They can hear everything you say. Mm -hmm. I would say that this is really a moment of a lifetime, and one girl gets to win, but this is an opportunity for all of them to do something amazing with their lives. But I'm really excited. It's big shoes to fill. So congratulations to all the ladies. Absolutely. And was there ever any one piece of advice that someone gave you during your competition? to breathe, and it was my Victoria's Secret runway moment. So just visualize myself with the big wings, just strutting it. So that was my piece of advice. Love it. All right, congratulations. You look great. Thank you. Cod, back to you. All right, thank you, Julie. Thank you, Aaron. Tonight's winner will be the 64th woman to take home the crown and to take on all of the responsibilities that come with the title of Miss USA. Here's how winning this honor changed the lives of some past title holders. I 
never thought that I'm not going to win. Like, that's the mentality that you had to have. I got takes of, like, Miss USA pageants, Miss Universe pageants, and I studied pageantry as if I was taking a test. I knew I wanted to be Miss USA so intensely, and I worked so hard for it. And then to achieve that, it just really shows the power that you can have over your life. It truly felt like the American dream, where if you work really, really hard for something, you can achieve it. When Ashante Hinton placed that crown on my head, I just remember feeling like I've been here before, you know, because I just dreamt about it so many times. The title really gave me an ambition that I can do anything I want to. You're part of a, a really awesome brand, and all of a sudden people know you, and, and it's, it's exciting. Just the experiences and the opportunities that I've had, those doors would never have opened if it hadn't been for Miss USA. My career has gone into ways that I never thought was possible. Once you're a Miss USA, you're always a Miss USA. Some of my best friends are pageant girls, and we, we stick together out here in LA, and we're, we're family. Beauty queens are the most driven, ambitious, amazing young women who are doing everything in their power to better themselves, better their communities. I was an all-American volleyball player. I co-founded my own international nonprofit. I went on to study postgraduate work and I'm a freelance editor. I am an international model, a TV host and presenter, a children's book author and activist. I'm an Emmy award-winning journalist, a commercial actress, an author, public speaker, and I'm also former Miss USA. Powerful women. We love them. We love them. Now, when we come back, we will reveal the woman who is still in the running, thanks to you. And you can see who is in the lead right now, but all of that could change. If you haven't voted, you still have time. Each user gets 10 votes, and we'll close the voting during this break. What a night it's been so far. Who will join the top 10? Find out after this as the women compete in evening gown. Miss USA 2015 will be back right here on Reels.
Welcome back to Miss USA 2015. Now, throughout her reign, Miss USA makes countless appearances. I mean, on any given day, she might find herself at a big charity event, maybe even lobbying Congress. She also attends glamorous red carpet galas and meetings with dignitaries around the world to give you and the judges a sense of her poise. Each woman has chosen her own dress for this next round. Now, please do keep in mind, it's not about the design of the dress. It's not about the price tag. The judges are focusing on how well the finalists can cope with all of these lights and all of these cameras and, of of course, this amazing crowd in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. <laughs> yes. Now, to kick off the evening gown competition with her song, Little Black Dress, please welcome Adley Stump. Cut by and chills, but one thing that I know for sure Just when I drop when I hit the door curse I've got a secret, something these other girls are needed There's no comparison Little black dress, yes Soon as I walk in, everybody's hands I turn Boys are talking, ain't nothing better This little black dress, yes under intense pressure right now. Your votes are in. Actually, well over half a million votes came in. We thank you for doing that. And the woman you have saved is... Kentucky! We'll begin the Miss USA 2015 Evening Out competition with... Congratulations, America. You're saved, Miss Kentucky USA. Putting on a leg show. She is channeling Veronica Lake. I love how the hair with the slight curl and that high slit, everything is working on this dress. Nevada! Nevada changed her mind about her dress the last minute. This gorgeous silver dress came just four days ago. She said she was a little nervous about this move. Detaching that gorgeous train, not a problem for her. She's stunning. Hawaii! Huge trend, the see-through skirt. Absolutely loving it, and her body is absolutely unbelievable. I love all the sparkles and that gorgeous belt. Perfect hair to go with the outfit. Rhode Island! At six feet tall, Miss Rhode Island USA is the tallest of the competitors. She is using it to her full advantage. Now, this is a different dress than she wore in rehearsals. She was keeping it under wraps, didn't want to tell anyone, and what a surprise it is. Maryland! She's a model, and it certainly shows. Everything is working for Maryland. She's got the walk down. What a strut. With the cutouts, the sheer, the applique, absolutely stunning. Alabama! Hard to believe that this is only the second pageant that Miss Alabama USA has competed in. She looks like an absolute pro. The color is stunning. That teal matching with the earrings. I love that she has the hair down. Stop. 
her hair, her hair falls perfectly without her crying. She's so beautiful, and I tell her every day. Yeah, I know, I know, when I compliment her, she won't believe me. And it's so, it's so, sad to think that she don't see what I see. But every time she asks me to, I look okay, I say. When I see your face, it's not a thing that I would change. Cause you're amazing, just the way you are. And when you She's working every light in this auditorium. Oklahoma! I asked Miss Oklahoma USA to tell me about her dress, and she said, I have one word to describe it, and that's magical. She said she feels like a princess in it. It's an absolutely stunning Sherry Hill dress, and that color, if you could see it in person, it is electrifying. from the state has made the top 15. She told me she always envisioned herself wearing a yellow dress if she ever made it this far. And here she is. It all came to fruition. The yellow is gorgeous. Texas! White hot. The back of this dress is working overtime. All of those crystals just sparkling in the light. Absolutely unbelievable. One more round of applause for the top 11 in our 2015 Miss USA Evening Gown Competition. And keep it going for our nothing but crown band and those amazing singers, Adley Stump and Stefano. When we come back on Reels, we'll reveal the winner of Miss Congeniality USA and find out which woman the camera loves the most, Miss Photogenic USA.
Rouge is home to some of the world's most beautiful places. Like the gardens here at the Homeless House Plantation. In the sometimes haunted Myrtle Plantation. There are many more ways to lift your spirits here. You can bike along the Mississippi. That's beautiful. And find something you just can't live without. Or get back to nature here in Bayou Country. And the contestants had a chance to give back. Doing some important work with the children of Baton Rouge. After a long and fulfilling day, the contestants made some time for some F-U-N fun. And there's always a party going on somewhere. This week, the women partied in true Cajun style and got a taste of some authentic Cajun cooking and good times. USA 2015 live from the great city of Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Now, if you haven't already checked out the 720 degree views from our exclusive cameras, you can still download the Miss USA 720 app. It's available for both iOS and Android, and from there, you can control your own experience. Now, before we reveal the judges' top five, we want to recognize two of tonight's contestants with very special awards. Indeed, and without question, each of tonight's contestants is stunning and i am so glad that it's not up to the two of us to choose who wins this first special award yes isn't that the truth <laughs> a blue ribbon panel reviewed all of their glamour shots and the woman they chose as miss photogenic usa is indiana come on up here sister there she is can see why she won. So beautiful. <laughs> so Indiana, were you always that kid that jumped in front of family photos? No, never. I actually don't ever take pictures now. Even my mom always yells at me. No, why? So you're so, so you're just a natural. Wow. Well, congratulations. Thank you so much. Thank you. This next award was decided by our 51 contestants. They voted for the woman they think best reflects the respect and admiration of her peers. That is true. And just about two hours ago, we promised you a show unlike any other in pageant history. And for the first time, this has never happened ever, two Miss USA contestants have won Miss Congeniality USA. We have a tie tonight. Never before. The winners are Alaska and Delaware. Come on over here. And look at them, both wearing yellow. The joyful cover color, as Nia said. Hi, ladies. I think it's so important for women to support other women. What does it feel like knowing that all these women think so highly of you both? I think it's wonderful. I'm so glad that they thought I was so supportive, and I'm so glad that they've been here to support me. It's been a wonderful time. I'm just so blessed to have competed with these women and share this stage with them. We've made history women, and I'm so proud of us all. Love it. Thank you. Love it. Congratulations. Oh, that's fantastic. Must absolutely feel great to be thought of so highly by your fellow contestants. Now, speaking of someone we think very highly of, let's go down to Julie. She's right down front with a couple of our judges who are former Miss USA's. Thanks, Todd. Okay, Rima, so I hear that congratulations are in order because you did very well on the Lebanese version of Dancing with the Stars. 
Very cool. So what was that like? Oh, yeah, grab Well, I am very thankful because as Paula knew, I was known to be tough and always uh, much of a tomboy. I'm happy to have made it to the semifinals in Dancing with the Stars Middle East. So I have kind of balance now. That's awesome. <laughs> what was your favorite dance? Uh, I love the contemporary and I also love the Fox Shut, which I dedicated to the Miss Universe organization for always inspiring me to be fearless and continue on with my dreams. That's wonderful. Did you have a cute partner? I did have a cute partner, actually. Um, <laughs> he's dying to come out here to meet all these beautiful women. And uh, thank you. I'm sure. Okay, Tara Connor, you have worked with a lot of people in recovery. How rewarding is that for you? It's so rewarding, and it's such a blessing because it's just like what we're doing today. We turn a bad situation into something that can turn into an opportunity to help a lot of people. And I do think throwing a word around, words around like druggies or criminalizing addicts and alcoholics is very irresponsible and I just think that we should take an opportunity to have compassion for people who are sick and not a bad character and so if you're struggling there's help out there I'm a living example of that eight and a half years sober mm -hmm. today so thank you congratulations so you're doing great work thank you Tara from starting their own charities to working with others in need this year's contestants are fine examples of women who do good things for their communities Beauty isn't only on the outside, it's on the inside. And it's not just a cliche, you can be more than pretty and you can pursue your education, you can pursue your career, and you can have it all. Girls to Girls is a nonprofit that I started in 2014 for girls ages 8 to 15. I started a program called the No Excuses Youth Empowerment Program, where I was going around to high schools, talking to girls about actively pursuing their dreams. I've been a volunteer for the Samaritan Suicide Hotline for about two years. As a social worker with the Department of Family Services, my overall goal is to empower families. I have a degree in psychology with a focus in family and marital therapy. As an undergrad, I actually founded an organization called Mizzou for You, and it's a transitioning program for peers who have special needs, who have graduated from high school and are trying to reach their goals and trying to become independent. I decided to create this program called My World, My Way. It's a mentoring program. It inspires kids to create their own identity without them feeling like they have to be a victim to fate. These families just need a little help reaching out to the services in their community. No matter where you came from or where you are in life right now, education can break down all those barriers. I really want to help families and couples mend their relationship and bond closer than they were before. These are our future, and I think it's important to care about who they are right now so that they can get to that successful place in their life.
You like seafood? Well, some of the best shrimp and crawfish in the country comes from right here, Louisiana. We're back from the heart of the bayou. It's Miss USA. Welcome back. All right, so let's recap our preliminary panel. They have narrowed 51 incredibly deserving women down to just 15. Tonight's judges, and of course, you at home, are responsible for these top 11. We're about to reveal which five have been selected to move closer to that crown. So now, in random order, here are the judges' top five finalists. The first spot in our final five goes to... Oklahoma! Modeling is an amazing job. It's honestly, it's so fun and fantastic, but it's also a lot of hard work. I think that it's an amazing career that I'm so grateful to be part of. Oklahoma. Four places left. The next one belongs to... Against everything from ballet, tap, jazz, flamenco, salsa, tango. I remember growing up watching Miss Universe and watching Miss USA. So to win Miss USA, that would be crazy. It would be a dream come true. Texas! Next, the judges want to see... Rhode Island! My favorite thing about politics is that it can always be changed. I want to be able to make a change and make an impact in not just one person's life, but in many. And hopefully in my community, in the world. Rhode Island! Okay, there are eight women left and only two more places to go in the final five. Our next finalist is... Maryland! It takes confidence, it takes regality, it takes courage to be able to stand up and do what we do. I respect all women who go through this, and now that I am one, that much more respect is given to everyone involved in the whole process. Maryland! Okay, ladies, only one place left, and we can now reveal that that spot belongs to... Nevada! I always film everything. The family joke is Brittany always has a camera. I would say that, that winning Miss USA is, would be a dream come true. I would be amazing. <laughs> Nevada! Congratulations to our top five finalists. There they are. Ladies, one of you will become Miss USA 2015. All right, let's go backstage to Julie. Well, there you have it. Our top five have been chosen. An incredible, diverse group of women. When we come back, our top five will take on the judges' final question. And then it's a question from you at home that you posted on Facebook. Miss USA 2015 is live right here on Real.
30 seconds out. Three, two, one, and we're live. I write for an Asian interest magazine and newspaper. I interned at Vogue Latina Magazine 17, and I work at People in Espanol as a fashion and beauty assistant. I'm studying communications at the University of Wisconsin. I'm an associate director at a major sports network. I graduated from Gonzaga University in 2013 with a degree in public relations and promotions. I'm a reporter and fill and anchor at NBC Nebraska. I work at KDOC TV in Orange County as their on-air television host. I think writing really helps give me an outlet to express myself and draw attention to stories that need to be covered. I'm on the phone with ESPN calling them in and out of timeouts, you know, making sure sometimes I'm behind camera filming the actual game. What I love about working at People in Espanol Magazine is that I get to mix my love of writing with my culture. I want to be able to enter people's living rooms at night and be able to tell them what happened that day, if it's in news or if it's in sports. I feel like journalism is really showing its strength. It's really showing people, you know, I'm giving voice to the voiceless, and that's something I've always wanted to do. Welcome back to Miss USA 2015. Now, these beautifully jeweled plaques, they're the names of the judges who are prepared to challenge our five finalists in this round. It's the one that always brings some interesting answers. The judge's final question. Since Miss USA spends so much of her life in front of the cameras, she can be put on the spot at any time. Keeping her composure in the spotlight is key, and that's what this round is all about. Yeah, if the women win over the judges, they'll be one step closer, a key step, to winning the all-new crown. And what a magnificent crown it is from DIC, our official crown sponsor. Valued at nearly a quarter of a million dollars, this beautiful piece was handcrafted in Prague. It's made of white gold and features 33 diamonds, more than 500 white and blue sapphires, plus rubies and Czech crystals. The new crown by DIC is absolutely stunning. Without question, it's breathtaking. Okay, finalists, here we go. When we call your name, please step forward and select one of the plaques. The judge you choose will ask your question. And you will have 30 seconds until you hear this sound, which signals time is up. All right. Let's start with Oklahoma. Please join us right over here. So pretty and pink, Miss Oklahoma, you're saying. Hi. And select Hi. any plaque you'd like, Oklahoma. Thank you. Pretty purple. All right. Judge number eight, Brooke Lee. Good evening, Oklahoma. How are you good feeling? Evening. I'm doing great. How good. are you doing, Brooke? I'm good, thank you. <laughs> the Confederate flag, excessive force by police, and same-sex marriage are all recent hot-button issues in our country. What do you think will be the next that we need to tackle on a national level? I think that we still need to talk about race relations in this country. We have not solved this issue. We are still having problems and we keep hearing about new issues that are coming up. We really need to work on being an accepting society and being a society where every single person, no matter your race, no matter your gender, is given the same rights and privileges and opportunities. Thank you so much. Next, let's have Texas. Please join us and select a plaque. All right, Texas. How you doing? <laughs> Very good, thank you. Eeny, meeny, miny, moe, right? Yes. Judge number two, Michelle McLean Bailey. Hello. Hello. Hello, Miss Texas. You look absolutely stunning tonight. Oh, Congratulations on so getting much. thus far. Thank you so much. Thank you. My question to you. Last year, CEOs in the United States made around 300 times as much as the average worker's salary. Should the government impose boundaries on salaries of executives? That's a very good question. You know, um, I think that if you work hard enough, you can attain anything. This is the land of opportunity. And CEOs, I, I believe that they work hard enough for their money, so I think that they should be able to attain whatever it is that they are working for. Thank you. Thank you. Texas. Rhode Island. You're up. Please join us right over here. Three plaques to choose from. What's it going to be? Thank you. To match you. the dress. That's right. Thank you. And that is judge number five, Tara Connor. Hello. 
Hello. How are you? I'm well. How are you? I'm fantastic. Thank you. I'm really scared. Okay. My question to you. <laughs> Recently, comedian Jerry Seinfeld spoke out against political correctness in our culture. Do you think political correctness is hurting or helping this country, and why? That's a very good question. <laughs> I think that it's a balance of both. Um, we definitely need... I'm sorry, can you please repeat the question once more? Copy that. Recently... Comedian Jerry Seinfeld spoke out against political correctness in our culture. Do you think political correctness is hurting or helping this country, and why? I think that it's a balance of both. We need, we need the people to remind us, especially politicians, to remind us what to do right and when to do wrong. And it's never... Time's up. Thanks so much, Rhode Island. We belong to Maryland. Maryland, it's your turn. Please join us right over here. Two plaques to choose from. Hi, Maryland. Thank you. Judge number three, Nana Merriweather. Hi, Maryland. Hi, Miss Nana. We're, I'm from Maryland, too. Weird. Anyway. <laughs> the United States has agreed to formally reopen its embassy in Cuba. Do you think this change will be a positive one for both countries? I think that it will be a positive trade. I think that it is an awesome thing to open our doors to all countries, all nations, and to mend our relations with everyone. Uh, we should not be holding on to old grudges. We should be moving forward and accepting each other and loving one another and moving forward so that we can create better relations, better society, govern our countries better that way. Thanks, Marilyn. Thank you, and finally, Nevada. It's your turn. One plaque remains. It is yours. Easy choice. Slide it on over. Thank you. And it is judge number one, Crystal Stewart. Hello, Miss Nevada. Hi. How are you feeling? Top five. I'm feeling <laughs> great. I'm feeling amazing. <laughs> Here's your real question. <laughs> what would you do to improve race relations in the U.S.? Please be specific. What I would do to improve race relations in the U.S. is get more races grouped together and be able to be with each other in a, in a non, let's see, I apologize. I think what we need to do is bring, <laughs> we need to be more accepting of each other and we need to bring people together. That's what I think we need to do. Thank you so much. Thank you very Thank much. You. Thank all of you. Now, if you thought the judges had some hard-hitting questions, we got hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of submissions posted on Facebook by you at home. We picked the best one, and we'll put our top five to that test when we come back. Miss USA 2015 will return on Reels.
welcome to Baton Rouge. Every Memorial Weekend, Baton Rouge is home to the Bayou Country Superfest, featuring the biggest stars in country music. And when it comes to football, nothing beats tailgating with LSU's Golden Band from Tigerland and Southern University's Human Jukebox. Baton Rouge is one of the world's top destinations for film production. Blockbusters like Twilight and Pitch Perfect 2 were filmed here. In January, Baton Rouge hosts a rendezvous on the bayou. The Louisiana Marathon shares a little Zydeco flavor with runners from 50 states and 32 countries. We race them. This week, our contestants jumped into the Cajun spirit, getting up close and personal with some interesting locals in the bayou, and enjoyed a real Louisiana seafood experience. I, don't know. I like mine spicy. And they took to the streets for patriotic celebrations that were nothing short of spectacular. <laughs> We're back live in Baton Rouge, Louisiana for Miss USA 2015. And if you thought the judges had some tough questions, just you get ready for this. Over the last few weeks, you at home have been submitting your questions on Facebook. To give our judges a better sense of how our finalists compare to each other, we'll be asking each of them the same question. To ensure a level playing field, the contestants will be wearing soundproof headphones. This will prevent them from hearing the question in advance and the other finalists' answers. Once again, you'll have 30 seconds to answer until you hear this sound. Signaling time is up. All right, let's get right to it. Let's start with Oklahoma. Please join us right over here. While the rest of you, place your headphones on now, please. Hello again, Oklahoma. Hi, Alex. How are you? Headphones are being placed securely, and it looks as if we're ready. All right, Oklahoma, here is your Facebook question. It comes from David Scott Cartledge of South Carolina, who asks, It has been announced that in the year 2020, a woman will appear on the $10 bill. Which American woman would you like to see on the first printing of the bill, and why? <laughs> Well, I wish that Oprah was an eligible candidate because I would love to see Oprah on a bill. But there are some amazing women in American history. I think Harriet Tubman would be a beautiful example of where we have been and how far we are coming and how far we still have to go. Thank, Thank you, you very much, Oklahoma. Next, let's have Texas. Please join us and let's find out how you answer this question. All right, Texas, once again, our Facebook question yes. comes from South Carolina. Here it is. It has been announced that in the year 2020, a woman will appear on the $10 bill. Which American woman would you like to see on the first printing of the bill and why? That's a very good question. Um, on the bills that we have right now, they are all of presidents. And so I think we should just wait until the upcoming election. We have a both Republican and Democratic candidate running for president, and so I think we should just wait and see. All right. Thank you, Thank Texas. You. Okay. Rhode Island is next. Please join us right over here, Rhode Island. Welcome back. Our Facebook question comes from the state of South Carolina. It has been announced that in the year 2020, a woman will appear on the $10 bill. Which American woman would you like to see on the first printing of the bill and why? I think that it's long overdue that we haven't had a woman on our dollar bill. Having gone to an all-girls school, I realized that there are so many powerful women that can really be an example. And the woman that I would choose would have to be Catherine McCauley. Uh, she was a founder of the Sisters of Mercy, and she, she founded our school because she really wanted to show the world that women are really can really be empowering to the rest of the world to be an example and an advocate as well as an inspiration. Right. Thanks, Rhode Island. Maryland is next. Please join us and let's find out how you handle the same question. Come on over, Maryland. Your Facebook question comes from the state of South Carolina. It has been announced that in the year 2020, a woman will appear on the $10 bill. Which American woman would you like to see on the first printing of the bill, and why? Honestly, I would like to see Oprah. I think she's a great role model. She's a person that has 
transcended so many adversities. She's an example of someone that has been steadfast in following her dreams, never letting go, and always holding herself accountable to reaching her goals. And that is someone that I hold in high esteem and I look up to and I want to be just like that woman because of the things that she's gone through and the things that she surpassed. No matter what you go through, you can do whatever you want and that to me is inspiring. Right, thank, thank you, so you Marilyn. Finally, Nevada, it's your turn. Come on over. And Nevada, the question from Facebook comes from South Carolina. Here it is. It's been announced that in the year 2020, a woman will appear on the $10 bill. Which American woman would you like to see on the first printing of the bill, and why? I would love to see Rosa Parks on the $10 bill. That would be fantastic. As an African-American woman, I feel connected to her. I owe to her. I'm here because of her, and it's, it would be fantastic. I think it would be amazing to have Rosa Parks on the $10 bill, and I'd like to say that race relationships should be helped. It starts at the home, so I think if we just continue to bring respectfulness from home, we'll solve it. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Nice job, ladies. And good job to you at home, David Scott Cartledge. Thank you very much. Oklahoma, Texas, Rhode Island, Maryland, Nevada. One of these women will become your new Miss USA. We'll give the judges one last look at our top five before they make their final decision. Miss USA 2015 is live on Reels.
Welcome back to Miss USA 2015. Now tonight, our five finalists have competed in swimsuit, evening gown, and they answered the judges' final questions. And of course, the question that you posted on Facebook. Now it all comes down to this chance for our top five to leave a lasting impression. The judges will base their ultimate decision on each round of tonight's competition. And this, the final look. So come on, let's give it up for our finalists and our nothing but crown band featuring Felicia Barton. Like a small boat in the ocean Sending big waves in the motion Like how a single boy can make a high
that's what it's all about. Welcome back to Miss USA 2015. Well, the big moment is almost here. Mia Sanchez is about to turn over the crown that she worked so hard for and won just a little more than a year ago. The life of Miss USA is not a leisure one. She represents her country around the world for good causes. And Miss USA 2014 is... Nevada! called me the Karate Kid, but I do Taekwondo, so Karate and Taekwondo. Self-defense and self-confidence was a huge part of my platform. I got to speak to so many young men and women about the importance of being confident and then also learning self-defense at the same time. Being Miss USA has been one of the best years of my entire life. It certainly is a roller coaster. Got to work with some of my favorite charities. Got to go to Fleet Week. I have met so many servicemen and women. It's been one of the best parts of my year. I actually went to Prague to see where the Miss Universe crown was made. I got to go to Washington, D.C. We got to lobby on behalf of wearing cancer awareness. My favorite thing I did as Miss USA throughout my entire year was the Miss Universe competition. Miss USA and Miss Universe is all about meeting women from all over the world, bringing them together, celebrating the diversity, and that experience changed my life. Ladies and gentlemen, please join us in welcoming back Miss USA 2014, Nia Sanchez. This year has been one of the best years of my life. I am forever thankful to God and all the people who made it all possible. My state director, Shana Mokler, I couldn't have done this without you. Paula Shugart, I admire what you do for young women around the world. Emily Esther, thank you for always being there for me. My sister queens, Alexa, Cassidy, Gabriella, Paulina, and Kaylee, I love you all. Mom, Dad, my family, and the Bookos, thank you for always supporting me and being the best cheering team out there. Daniel, my fiance, because you believed in me, I was able to believe in myself. I love you. The next Miss USA 2015. Be you, stay humble, and enjoy every moment. Thank you so much, Nia, and congratulations on a wonderful year as Miss USA. We have had an amazing time in this great city. Thanks to Paula Rigo and Visit Baton Rouge, Lieutenant Governor Jay Darden, and the state of Louisiana, Mayor President Kip Holden, and the city of Baton Rouge, and of course, the Baton Rouge River Center. Betcha. And of course, we also want to thank Paula Shugart. Thank you so much, President of Miss Universe Organization. You know how much we love you. And thanks to Julie Alexandria for helping to make this such a memorable night. And what would this show be without the great crowd here tonight? Thank all of you so much. Now joining us for the crowning moment, the reigning Miss Universe, Paulina Vega and Miss Teen USA, Kaylee Graham. And now to the business at hand. As the final official act of her reign, Nia is about to crown Miss USA 2015. Which woman will it be? Let's get the final results from Tal Goldhammer from the accounting firm of Ernst & Young, tabulators of our results. Thank you, my friend. Great to see you. All right. Now, Tal has verified the calculations and signed off on these, our official results. Ladies, good luck to all of you. It's been a pleasure spending this night with you. All right. The fourth runner-up for Miss USA 2015 is... Maryland! We started the night with 51 contestants and are now down to four finalists. The third runner-up is... Nevada!
three women remain. One of them will wear the crown. The second runner-up is... Rhode Island! Two women left, Oklahoma and Texas. Please step forward and join us. The decision of the judges is final. One of these women is about to become Miss USA 2015. If for any reason the new Miss USA cannot fulfill her duties, the first runner-up will take over. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss USA 2015 is...